everyone welcome back to my channel this is Jenny and today I have a pretty good size a Dollar Tree haul to share with you everything I picked up well almost everything is brand new so let me dive in and let me show you on what I purchased so I'm gonna start off with this amazing like mason jar glass it's a jolly rancher look at the detail how it's twisted and then you have the Jolly Rancher, like, I don't know what you want to call it. I don't I, What is the word that I'm trying to think of? But it has the wrap around the rim, too. And then on the back, it has, I don't know what those are, grapes, I think. And you have a tin a lid. And this is like a heavy-duty straw. And you can see how it has the detail around the edge, too. This is so cool. And this thing is heavy. So this is the only color they had, but these are so, so cool. And they were over by all the other glassware. Along with the glassware, they had these back in stock. They are by Sur Surefresh Lunch Storage Tower. Now they had stuff like this earlier in the year, but they had it in different colors. I use mine for um, crafts. So what you do, like this one has like a little sauce. So say if you wanted to put carrots or celery, you can put your dipping sauce in here. Or you can, I guess, shove some chicken tenders in there and some barbecue sauce in there. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. But the way I used my other one is that I had uh, two sets of different beads. So that could be a way you can use um, these containers. And they're very durable too. So look how cool that is. And they had it in four different colors. Um, they came out with some new vinyl top liner. This is 12 inch by 30 inch. And it has um, the marble look. Which I was kind of hoping they would come out with the contact paper. The sticky kind of paper. But oh well. I guess we can't be that greedy right. So this is is really cool you can do a lot of cool stuff with this i just wonder how well this would like mod podge on something because it the thickness of it i guess i could experiment of course ew, 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 it smells like vinegar easter egg ew. um so i found this lion brand yarn palm yeah but i hold like the the yarn earlier in the year now they came out with this pom-pom. I don't know why it's orange. I wish they had other colors. But there is the back. But this is really cute if you want to add it to a hat. Or, um, I guess you can, well, what else? They have it on a scarf, hat, toys, crafts. Well, whatever you want to put it on, I guess. It's 70% um, acrylic and 30% polyester. So that is a name brand. And it's a little fuzzy. I guess you could stick some uh, little... Uh, googly eyes in there and have a little googly fuzzy friend okay moving on too much fun with that how about some mini tweezers this is a three-piece set by sassy and chic you get pointed tip slanted tip and flat edge never knew these things even existed so there are the close-up of all three of those those are so little I mean, I'm, I'm assuming those are probably for your eyebrows or something. For ingrown hairs, for brow hairs, and for thick hairs. Interesting. I guess I learn something new every day. So, yeah. Of course, this was over by um, all the makeup and all that good stuff. Um, here, they have some Sento scented markers. Green apple. They had five different flavors. This is ages three and up. Look how big that is. So I am going to go ahead and open it. And we are going to get a whiff. Ooh, that's a thick marker. Doesn't smell like... I don't think it smells like green apple. I just have that vinegar smell. I don't think it smells. I mean, it has kind of a scent, but it sure in the heck doesn't smell like green apple. But it, it colors good. They have watermelon, strawberry, green apple, and blueberry. Okay, so they, so I lied. There's four, four different ones. But it's nice and chunky. So if you have a little one that's just starting out, that would be something cute for them. It does not say if it is washable or not. 
I've seen if it said that, but I do not see anything on there. And Ruby, why are you shaking? Here is a car freshener. This is Refresh Your Car Air Freshener, which I just totally repeated myself. Um, pink petals. Hmm. Very fancy. So yeah, I'm not going to open it because I'm going to give it to my daughter. But it has like a little crystal. If anything, you can dissect it and use these for DIYs. Ooh, that's an idea, but I won't open you yet until I know for sure. But I think that was really fancy schnancy for only a buck. And the other car freshener I picked up, this is limited edition, perfect pine. So if you want your car to smell like a pine forest or Christmas tree, this is meant for you. And I didn't even notice until I sat down here, they have little wreaths, Christmas wreaths. So yeah. How cute is that? I am experiencing, uh, experimenting with a new, I don't know what, uh, ring light. So I'm trying to figure out the adjustments, lighting, all this. So I apologize if there's been a lot of glares. Just work with me. I'm a slow learner. Okay, this is from April. April. <laughs> Another Jenny vocab word. April Bath and Shower Shampoo Massager with Convenient Palm Grip. Hmm. Interesting. I have... Maybe not. Oh, yeah, I do. Razor blade, although I might need scissors for this. Oh, I don't. Ooh, shocking. So, this is... Now, they had a black plastic one that I hauled over a year ago, and I used it for quite some time, and it did work. So, it fits in your hand really nice. I wonder how well this would work on a dog. Hmm. With a convenient palm grip. Detangles hair while massaging the scalp. If you ask me, I think that would make it, like, ooh, that's really, I don't think you want to press hard. But that's really, that's heavy duty. But I like the grip. Okay, enough of you. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Total throwback. It just reminds me of when I was a little kid. I had a Dukes of Hazzard's um, tin um, lunchbox. So they have these Christmas ones out now. Um, can't even tell you how many different ones. I want to say around four or five. But these are just too adorable. I love these. Great. I use stuff like this when I give gift cards or money to my kids for Christmas. Just instead of putting it in an envelope and slapping a name on it, I like to do fun stuff like this and decorate it with a bow. Um, let me see how big this is. It is about six inches, six inches and four and a half, and the depth is two and a half. So, I mean, it's not huge, but it's really, really cute. I love uh, the deer and the cardinal, which is the reason why I mean I got this because of the cardinal. So, yes, very, very cute. Um, these are repeat buys every single year, and they have new designs each or new prints, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are the basket bags. They are 22 um, by 25 by 4. You get two per um, pack. So here you have snowmen, and they do come with the twisty tie. And then I grabbed the snowflakes. I always make up baskets for my girls and my kids. Um, like with my little ones, I'll make up a basket with a bunch of um, blind bags, and I'll wrap it up with that, or I'll use a gift box. And then for my older girls, like last year, I bought um, stuff for like bath bombs and sponges and shampoo, conditioner and all that good stuff. And I made it a really cool basket and I wrap it up with those bags, which are super cute. Uh, just a few more things. This is some wasabi sauce. Totally, I won't eat, but I, it is name brand. It is a 9.25 ounce. My older girls and husband eat this kind of weird stuff. And the date on this is June 5th of 2020. So yeah, some green nasty stuff. And then I picked up these bowls. Now, what, what's weird is in one Dollar Tree, they had these by the kitchen goods. And then over by the pet department, they had these. And they weren't just the flat ones. I know what those look like. They had these over there by the pet. So 
I don't know. Um, but I am doing a DIY with these. So I bought all three sizes. So you have the large size, the medium size, and the baby. So I guess it's like the three bears, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. So that, my subby friends, is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. Be sure you click on to that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I'd really love to have you as a subby friend. I thank you all for stopping by and spending the time with me today. So I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. And I will see you <laughs> in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling.